Today we're back at Lifetime Fitness for round three of triathlon training and today we're going to work the legs, a very important part of triathlon obviously. A lot of running, a lot of biking, we've got to get some strength and endurance, some miles into these puppies. Let's get it started, I think Lauren's ready for us. We're definitely making sure Nick is going to be able to last through the triathlon, so we're going to be you know, tackling a bunch of heavy areas and also number one, work on endurance first, but also strength. First today, Nick, we're going to start off with my box jumps right here on a smaller box. The key to box Go. jumps is to get those knees high and land lightly on your toes. Box jumps today, you're going to do quick jumps for one minute. After one minute is up, we're coming right to the prowler and we're pushing the prowler down and back two consecutive times. We'll rest at the end. Even with no weight, Lauren's prowler has become my arch nemesis. Great start to the week. At the next segment, what Nick is going to do is I have 25 pound weights. We're going to do knee raises for 30 seconds each leg. It is important to concentrate on pushing through with your heel, otherwise you're going to injure your knee. As soon as he's done, we set the weights down, and now we are going to go to my red pull, pull sled, in which Nick is going to be pulling this red sled backwards, down and back, also twice, two consecutive times. I think sled, I think Christmas, Lauren is slowly ruining that for me. We're on to the next exercise. Now, what Nick is going to do is he's going to be transporting the tennis balls that I have right here, four tennis balls, from one cone to the next cone. While doing so, Nick will be inside of this bungee. Once Nick has transported all tennis balls down and back, we then flip sides. Is it just me or is this turning into the prices right now? Seriously though, this is great for the hips, another area we do neglect. We got drink time. Yep, drink time. Now we're on the fourth exercise of the day. And what Nick's gonna do, he's still gonna have the bungee on. It's getting to be a bit of a cruel and unusual punishment. It feels a bit like tethered swimming, this bungee cord. In this station, Nick is gonna do a series of squat hops, okay? Resisted squat hops, okay? It's kind of like putting everything together from our quads, our hips, our groin, our hamstrings, all in one, but with a little cardio interval in between. Five consecutive times. This one is all about control. Squat properly and don't let the bungee snap you back. There you go. How you feel now, Nick? Yeah, the legs feel good, thanks mate. Actually, they feel like they're going to fall off, but it is a key component of any workout. Everyone forgets to do their legs, but they really are the building blocks. I'm gonna go and stretch, because last time I didn't, I couldn't walk for a week. Good luck with your training, and remember to connect with us. I'm Nick Davey for KTV. Now get this damn thing off me. <laughs>